And then it's going to give you like a little prompt to say that you're okay with that. Okay, I need my glasses to say <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, everybody. My name is Johan, and I'm the lead singer in Candlemas. First of all, I appreciate that Candlemas is playing uh, Metal and Beer Fest and that you're going to do one of my favorite albums in the history of albums. Um, so, <laughs> it, uh, Yeah, it's an honor to, uh, to do that for people who really do like the, the album. And uh, I've underst I understand that it has meant a lot to a lot of people, so... It's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know this because I didn't know this when I booked Candlemas for the event. I only realized it afterwards. You guys are performing on June 10th, which is the yeah. 36th anniversary of Epicus. The day it was released 36 years ago is the day that you guys play. Okay. Actually, I didn't know that. It is exactly the same day. Uh-huh. 36 years oh. to the day. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that must have been a co coincidence because that's not planned. I don't think so. No, not, not <laughs> by least. me. I had no idea. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what should we do? Should fans bring presents, bake cakes? You know, for 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 the thirty. No, yeah. just to c come as they are and just enjoy the night. That's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> you were obviously not involved directly with Candlemas for thirty some odd years. Um, yeah. While you were away, were you aware? I mean, obviously, you were aware that Candlemas had a huge following, but you yeah. were you aware of what? the Epicus record in particular meant to people? No, it took a couple of years before I, one day I, I was reading the newspaper and uh, there it was a band in the middle of the newspaper. I don't know, it was one of the big bands in the world. And I was reading it all and then I said, one of my big influence, influences uh, is Candlemas. I was, wow, he was, he, he liked uh, Epicus Domicus, and that's awesome. So, uh, but in a way, we kept contact. I, I was uh, uh, in the studio a couple of times doing demos for them when they were looking for a new singer mm -hmm. at uh, a couple of times. Uh, so uh, we we have always been good friends, but 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 uh, in in the very beginning, I must say that no one uh, believed in the album. Actually, Leif and Mapp uh, and the other they have told me that some people were even laughing when they heard the songs and say, "Okay, go on with this, guys." <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it was such. Uh, such a new kind of style at that point. I mean, today in 2022, there's so many different subgenres and micro genres that people readily yeah. associate, but nobody, nobody used the term doom metal in 1986. You no, know? no, no, no. So when, when, did you, when did you first start hearing that term, if you, if you can remember? I, I can't remember exactly when. It would have been years after Epicus, though, right? Yeah, yeah. It must have been years after Epicus, yeah. And now, these days, there's so many genres. So you, you, I don't even know all the genres that exist these days. Not every album from a band works, I think, live as a full album performance. Sometimes you have yeah. albums that have, like, kind of weird vignettes or instrumentals or covers yeah, yeah. maybe break up the flow but yeah i think epicus is going to work really well yeah 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 we, we've done that because a couple of times and uh, it works 
very well, actually. No problems at all. It, you know, it's, um, yeah, it, it's a good flow through the whole album. I, I must say that I really do like all the songs, and that's from my heart. So, uh, you know, you, when, when, when you do the songs, you, you go into the song and you want to do your very best and just enjoy the moment. So, and uh, there are highlights in all, all the songs. So uh, I feel good about every single one of them, actually. I mean, that speaks to a classic record. <laughs> I have to like what I'm doing. You know, that's uh, very important for me and, uh, of course, for uh, other singers as well. But, but uh, I, I'm, I'm having a problem, really have a problem doing songs that I don't like. And uh, fortunately, I like all the songs. <laughs> <laughs> works out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not only works out, uh, we're having a really, we've had a very good time lately me and the band uh, before the corona of course but right. um, yeah you guys have played a a handful of festival dates post covid how have uh, how have those gone for you yeah we we did uh, we did actually did two gigs in stockholm and uh, it was all two great nights in the middle of Stockholm at a very nice place called the Southern Theater. So it was a very nice place, kind of exclusive place, but uh, the people were wild anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and we did, we did uh, I think, two uh, live streaming gigs too. Mm -hmm. In addition to Canamass performing Epicus, Stumicus, Metallicus, there's three other bands at the festival who will be performing an album in, in its entirety as well. For those okay. bands, it's the first time they've ever done anything like that. Okay. But you, you have experience. So for, for, <laughs> for, a band, for a band that's never played an album in full before, what kind of advice would you give to them? Because it is a different kind of a performance, I think, for an artist. Yeah, but in a way, the songs come back to you. It's in here somewhere, and you just have to wake it up again. Mm. So, uh, of course, if, if the songs are complicated, and for an old man to remember all the lyrics can, of course, be hard, but, uh, but it works. <laughs> I wish them good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a are you a beer drinker? Do you enjoy beer? Yeah, I like beer a lot. Do they have a lot of beer fests in Sweden? No, no, I can't say that. No, have you been to a beer fest? No, I haven't. But uh, a, lot, a lot of my friends have been, but they, they but they they are going down to Germany. Mm -hmm. As they, Germany has a lot of beer fest uh, festivals. I could be some in Sweden. Also. I, I, I don't know. Right. I haven't been to anyone so far. <laughs> well, your first one being Metal and Beer Fest seems like, seems like a good place yeah. to start, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> good place to start. Had Candlemas ever done a beer? I can't. No, I think that they did a, a wine. A wine. A lo lots of years back in time. And we did a kind of. Uh, salty liquor lick i don't know the name for it you know shot it was very good but uh, i think we actually sold uh i don't know how many thousands but a couple of thousand bottles but uh, they 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 ended it so we, the, you can't buy it anymore hmm. but no beer hmm. no beer no beer all right maiden What's beer it? voyage But Lasse, the, he's the uh, he, he 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 does not drink beer, unfortunately. Mm. Well, but he can he can watch us drink it. So. <laughs> <laughs>